Hi guys, Mr. Kerr here again. Um, we are modelling today Prac 6.1 and we're modelling reactions and it, the Prac tells you to model the reactions with um, plasticine or clay. Now I'm at home doing this at the moment of course, you, all you guys are at home as well so we need to improvise, I don't have clay so instead I'm going to use Lego. So you can use whatever you have around the home to model these reactions. I've used Lego. If you've got clay, play-doh, plasticine, whatever, you could use that. You could use buttons. If they stick together, that's better. You can even make paper balls and stick them together with sticky tape or something like that. Get creative, okay? So we're going to model these reactions with something real and what I'd like you to do is film it and uh, upload it to somewhere hopefully Flipgrid and uh, see if we can share that learning with others but if not you can just upload it to Google Classroom and show me what you've done so I'm going to show you an example of how to model these balanced and unbalanced reactions and then you're going to do it according to uh, chapter 6.1 sorry practical 6.1 in the textbook which is page 235. So you just follow that and it gives you the instructions there. And I'll show you that page right now actually. So this is page 231 in the textbook. There's the prac there. 6.1 practical investigation reactions with modeling clay. So that's page 235. So go to that page and I'll put that page up on classroom as well. So you'll be able to have that prac for you to do. So what we need to do is model the balance and unbalanced reactions that they have in the textbook under prac 6.1. Now I'll show you what reactions they have in just a sec, but I'm just going to do this really simple one of the hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas to create water. So we've seen this reaction before, we've modeled it before in classroom and you're pretty familiar with this reaction. Now first of all you do the unbalanced reaction and you see here that hydrogen is these small four squared pink Lego blocks. Oxygen I've got is these bigger blue Lego blocks and carbon. Carbon isn't involved here yet but carbon is my green big Lego blocks and carbon is going to be in the next reaction. And so first of all our reaction between hydrogen gas and oxygen gas requires H2 and O2. So one atom of each. And at the start you just model what's going to happen on the reactant side of things, the left side of the arrow. That's all you're doing. And so I've modeled that. I've got H2. I've got two atoms. Each of these Lego blocks represents an atom. I've got two atoms joined together of hydrogen. So that's H2. And I've got two atoms of oxygen which represents O2. And then what you need to do in entirety is to take those, what you have at the start, and then see if you can make the molecule or whatever the products are on that side, multiple molecules, etc. In this case, it's H2O with those beginning blocks. So I'm going to do that. We've got H2O, so I need two H's. Here they are. And, and I've got one oxygen. And here that is. And don't forget, I've still got that other oxygen that was attached over here in O2. So I'm going to join these together to make H2O because that's what my reaction says. And I can see that that's unbalanced. Why? I've got one oxygen left over. I've got my H2O, but this doesn't work because I've got one oxygen left over. Not good enough. That is not a balanced reaction. So what do we do? Well, we go off and we balance it up. And you know how to do the balancing now. Okay. So we identify how many hydrogens do we have, two, how many oxygens, Oops. two, how many oxygens do we have over here, two, don't forget we separate the sides out, I'm just going to move these down for a sec, over here, H equals two, O equals only one, so we know that at least we need two oxygens because there's already two over here, so we know how to balance now, I'm going to put a two in front of that, we can't change it in the small subscripts. So, this makes this 4, makes this 2 now. 
And over here, of course, now we have an imbalance. The oxygens are okay, but we have a hydrogen imbalance. So I'm just going to put a 2 in front of that. H2 times 2, now we have 4, and that's all balanced. And then you remodel it. So I'm going to remodel this. Let's see how we do it now with the balanced equation. So now we need 2H2. So there's 1H2. And I'm going to get some more Lego. So I've got to make sure I've got enough. You've got to make sure you have enough of what you need at the start of the Lego bricks. There's 2H2. But we still only need 1O2 molecule. There it is there. Now just with those pieces, I'm going to see with our balanced equation, can I use all of those pieces and demonstrate the law of conservation of mass? Because whatever I have at the finish, I must have had at the start with nothing new or nothing taken away. We cannot create or destroy matter. So let's see how that works. I need two molecules now of water. All right, I'm starting with those oxygens. And then I'm adding those two hydrogens that I had in that first molecule there. And I'm adding these ones as well there. And now that's perfect. There's nothing left over. That models exactly what my reaction says. What I started with here, two molecules of H2 and one of O2, is now over here, just rearrange. And that is our definition of a chemical equation when new substances have been made. And I have my two H2Os. Now you're going to be doing this, but for a different equation. In fact, it's asking you to do it for two equations. The first equation is the reaction between methane, which is a gas, and oxygen, which of course is a gas as well. So this is what happens when you simply burn methane, and that's what comes out of your natural gas at home, methane gas, and oxygen, is you get a reaction, you produce CO2, plus water comes out as well, water vapor. So, you would start with, remember carbon is my green, here's my CH4 molecule and it's got four hydrogens attached to it. These small bricks again, one, two, three, four, there they all are. And I've attached them to this carbon molecule. Whoops, they're all falling apart. One, two, three, and four. There they are. So there's my CH4, my methane, and we need that to burn in the presence of oxygen. And so here's my one oxygen molecule. Now, I'm not going to do this one for you because that's part of the prac. You need to do that. But if we pulled all of these apart, could we make the products of CO2 and H2O? I think already you could identify that. Well, probably not. Why? Because I've only got two oxygens here, but already there's three on the product side of things. So already this is looking unlikely. But what you need to do is what I just did with the hydrogen and the oxygen reaction and show me, show me in your video how that you cannot make CO2 and H2O with these available atoms, how it's not going to work, how it's going to be unbalanced. And then you balance this equation out. And then you show me with new bricks for your balanced reactants how it can show the law of conservation of mass and make the products without adding any new ones or taking any ones away. And then you do it for a second equation. So practical 6.1 asks you to do it for two equations. So this one here and a secondary one. So what I'd like you to do is film those at home using your phone. You might need someone to help out and hold the phone. I've got a tripod out so I'm lucky. And film that. Then upload it. If you can only do one reaction, so be it. it might get a little bit tricky. But if you can do two, fantastic. So that's the prac for today. And then there are some questions that you'll need to answer. Uh, just a couple from the textbook. And, and that would finish the prac today. But mostly we want to see the video. Let's focus on the video. Upload that. Hopefully you can upload that to Flipgrid. But if not, we'll upload that to Google Classroom. All right, that's the prac. Hopefully that made some sense. And uh, yeah, have a, have a good day today. Thanks. Bye.